So Motion Box is a Cartesian robot system. The idea is we start from an HMI and we get motion over on the other end. When you get into motion, the problem is you give it a command and the thing doesn't do what you want it to do. That's a really big problem. And what we're trying to do is help you get past that point where your initial setups are, are really already done. So you can very quickly go into the point and get yourself to moving in a quality way that you, didn't, you couldn't do before. We're selling you the motion of the part from the point of the HMI or the point of the ethernet connection to the point of the motion going on to the other end, we've managed all the interfaces and the things that happen in between. So you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You can go straight from plugging it in to starting a program. So when we designed MotionBox, we said, okay, 80% of the application is gonna operate within about uh, six different sizes, a 12 inch cube, a 16 inch cube, a 20 inch cube, 30 by 30 by 20, 40 by 40 by 20, and 60 by 40 by 20. So depending on the, the size of motion that you need to achieve, you pick your space. The next part is you look at what is my load. If my load is five kilograms, 10 kilograms, 20, 30, 40, 50 kilograms, then we have charts and tables that you can select the speed that you're gonna go because you do have maximum speeds based on the amount of load. So what we're doing is we're helping you understand very quickly what are the speeds you can operate inside of that box. On the smallest envelope, we can go from corner to corner in about a half a second. On the larger envelopes, it's gonna be about two to three seconds depending on the load that we have to move. Regardless of what your control system is inside of your uh, facility you're trying to design around, the motion box is really set up to be friendly with all different kinds of control systems. So with the Ethernet connection in, we can, we can interface with all kinds of different control systems. So we've chosen the roll-on TH actuators, TH110 and the TH145, which are very robust actuators with linear guides inside, very good ball screws. We chose the control system for motion box based on the ease of putting everything together. But it does not limit us to the different styles of connectivity we have outside of that into company networks and company uh, control architectures. We worked out with Mitsubishi on their, uh, their Q platform of control. The Mitsubishi programming framework was a very, very easy framework for us to develop on and to develop with. At one end, we plug in 220 volts. At the other end, you can connect this to your network and you're buying a robot, you're buying a part, you're not buying all these different components that are put together in a, in a system is a, is a mishmash of, of products. In order to deploy this system from the time they pull it out of the box to the time they're actually in programming positions, they can do it in about two hours.